you came from a place of years and years of, of the working away from the romance of where you are when you're you know, 14 in a garage band discovering rock and roll and girls. The music was just life, it was your breath. And then you, you slowly get better and then you grow into something that is professional and, and needed and desired and um, sought after and you become something different and it's not necessarily a bad thing but it, you don't know if you believe it anymore it becomes a career it just becomes a job and I think that's the opposite of what rock and roll is I think it's the opposite of what creative writing is and, and expressing yourself and for a long time I lost the romance of what it meant to be in that state of a rock band or, or just expressing and writing what you felt not because what you thought someone wanted or uh, what would sell or what would sound good on the radio but just something honest and something um, is that thing running out? <laughs> <laughs> so I think Red Fire Dragon Machine was birthed really out of like therapy sessions of wondering if if it's really true that your better years were when when it was um, untamed and when it was really alive and when you really believed it and, and it wasn't even necessarily technically correct but it just had so much power and raw just a raw edge to it that it seemed to fade over time because it wears you down and you find yourself writing the hit chorus Red Fire Dragon Machine was a detox program for me.